The series of stages and changes an organism goes through during its life is called its life cycle. Here you can see diagrams showing the life cycle of a butterfly, a frog, and a plant. Frogs go through major changes during their life cycle. Frogs move through these stages in a process called metamorphosis. Mature adult female frogs lay eggs. And here you can see an adult frog that's surrounded by eggs. Frog larvae hatch from the eggs. Frog larvae are called tadpoles and they live completely in water. And you can see a tadpole here. It has a tail but no legs. As the young frogs move into the juvenile stage, they begin to grow legs. In this stage, they're called froglets. Eventually, froglets lose their tails and become mature adults that can reproduce. So adult frogs lay eggs. Those eggs hatch into frog larvae that we call tadpoles. Those tadpoles grow into juvenile frogs which eventually become mature adults. And those mature adults lay more eggs, starting the cycle over. That's why we call it a life cycle. The life cycles of other amphibians, like salamanders, are very similar to the life cycle of the frog. Adults lay eggs, which hatch into larvae, which grow into juveniles, which become adults. So all amphibians have a very similar life cycle. Some insects also go through the process of metamorphosis. You can see that the frog and the butterfly both lay eggs, and those eggs both hatch into larvae that don't look anything like the adults. So we'll take a look at the lady beetle life cycle to understand the stages in the life cycle of an insect that goes through complete metamorphosis. Adult lady beetles can lay eggs, and you can see that happening in the picture. Those eggs hatch into lady beetle larvae. Lady beetle larvae look very different from adult lady beetles. Insects that go through complete metamorphosis have a pupa stage. And it's during this stage that the insect is often surrounded by a chrysalis or cocoon. This protects the insect as its body goes through huge changes. Adults emerge from the pupa stage and are able to reproduce. And that starts the cycle all over again. There are many different types of insects that go through complete metamorphosis. So you can see that even though the butterfly and the stag beetle look very different, they actually go through very similar stages. The adult lays eggs. The eggs hatch into larvae. The larvae go through a pupa stage, and then an adult emerges from the pupa. And notice that in both life cycles, the larva looks very different from the adult. But some insects actually go through a process called incomplete metamorphosis. During this process, young insects, called nymphs, look similar to adults. So it's important to understand even though lots of insects go through a very similar life cycle, there are some types of insects, like crickets and grasshoppers, whose life cycle does look a little different. It's also important to be familiar with the life cycle of plants that produce seeds. Mature plants produce seeds, and you can see the seeds inside this tomato. Germination occurs when the plant begins to grow from a seed. So as soon as the seed begins to grow, we say that it has germinated. Once the plant develops leaves, we call it a seedling. The plant continues to grow until it becomes a mature plant capable of producing more seeds. We call fully grown organisms mature organisms. Mature organisms are able to reproduce. And it's important to understand that all living things produce offspring as part of their life cycle. Some animals produce eggs, like birds, frogs, or insects. Some animals give birth to live young, like this horse or a human having a baby. And some plants produce seeds. But all organisms produce some form of offspring. 
I hope this video has helped you understand life cycles just a little bit better. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you next time.